Welcome to Bir Tawil, one of the world's most desolate and unclaimed desert territories. And yet, it's here, in this unforgiving land between Egypt and Sudan, that an innovative project is proving something incredible. We can grow food where nothing grows. Introducing the Green Housing Project for Food Production in the desert of Bir Tawil, a bold initiative turning extreme environments into fertile zones powered by sunlight, engineering, and human determination. Led by Colombian engineer Luis Eduardo Narvaez Titimbo, the project builds on years of research and real-world testing in harsh regions like La Guajira, Colombia, where water is scarce and the land offers no mercy. Against all odds, those first prototypes produced food for the local population, using minimal water, clean energy, and low-cost infrastructure. Later, the concept was tested in India. While the technical results were positive, local restrictions halted the full rollout. But now, the ultimate challenge begins, bringing this solution to Bir Tawil, a vast, uninhabited desert that seems almost untouched by time. This is more than a prototype. It's a statement that with the right tools, even the harshest places on Earth can support life. Three phases, one vision. The project in Bir Tawil unfolds in three main stages construction, water management, and renewable energy. 20% of efforts go to building the greenhouse structures. 30% focuses on water systems. And 50% is dedicated to solar energy integration, the true engine behind the operation. In the construction phase, lightweight but sturdy tunnel-style greenhouses are built using white multi-layer agricultural plastic, which allows sunlight in while keeping internal air cool. Plastic tubing serves as structural support, flexible, easy to work with, and highly resistant to sand and heat. Greenhouse Details The greenhouse design in Bir Tawil blends traditional agricultural concepts with advanced sustainability. Its arched roof is curved and slightly tilted to reduce wind resistance and enhance solar gain. The shape helps deflect strong desert winds upward and allows blowing sand to slide off naturally. The main structure is built from reinforced polymer and plastic composite beams, chosen for their resilience to wind pressure and sand abrasion. The covering is made from multi-layered UV-treated white plastic that diffuses sunlight, blocks heat, and filters dust. Air inlets are protected with mesh filters to allow ventilation while keeping sand out. Entryways include airlocks to stabilize the internal environment. Inside, the layout includes modular towers, raised beds, and hydroponic systems that maximize vertical space and conserve water. The greenhouse stands on a sand-resistant base that creates thermal insulation from the hot desert floor, while external windbreak mesh fencing and solar panels help protect from wind erosion. Water is everything. In a desert with no rivers or aquifers, water must be created, not extracted. That's why the system uses atmospheric water generators powered by solar panels. They capture moisture from the air, condense it, purify it, and feed it directly into drip irrigation systems. No wells, no pipelines, just air turned into water. Inside the greenhouse, crops like tomatoes, lettuce, onions, herbs, and medicinal plants are grown using hydroponic and semi-hydroponic systems. These methods reduce water use dramatically, eliminate the need for fertile soil, and optimize nutrient delivery to each plant. Thanks to the cooling effect of the greenhouse, very little water is lost. Storage tanks keep reserves safe from heat and evaporation. Solar energy, the beating heart. Massive solar panel arrays, installed on the roof and surrounding fields, power everything. Air conditioning units, water generation, LED grow lights, ventilation systems, energy storage. The entire system is off-grid and self-sufficient. Even during sandstorms or cloudy days, energy is stored in batteries for continuous operation. Built to survive the desert. This isn't just a greenhouse. It's a fortress of resilience. The structure is designed to withstand extreme heat, high winds, and intense sandstorms. Its curved roof diverts airflow upward, reducing wind impact. UV-treated plastic prevents heat buildup and deflects sand. Anti-static coatings reduce dust adhesion. Filtered air vents keep the interior climate stable, even during external fluctuations. Entry points include airlocks, adding an extra layer of protection for both crops and workers. 
The base is slightly elevated, creating a thermal buffer between the scorching sand and the greenhouse interior. Modular grow towers and raised beds optimize airflow, reduce soil dependency, and make maintenance easier. Defensive Perimeter Around the greenhouse, windbreak fencing supported by tension cables lowers ground-level wind speeds and diverts sand away. Solar panels installed on low-profile, adjustable platforms act as a second barrier against wind erosion and increase energy efficiency. Native desert plants are used to stabilize the surrounding soil and beautify the area. Walkways made of compressed earth guide visitors through the site, which also functions as a living research facility. Science meets inspiration. From a distance, the glowing greenhouse looks like something out of Interstellar or Dune, a futuristic structure powered by clean energy, defying nature with beauty and precision. But this isn't science fiction. It's real. It's what happens when sustainability meets engineering, when you believe that even the most impossible places can become alive again. From engineer to ambassador Luis Eduardo Narvaez Titimbo, now nominated ambassador at large for the Birta Wheel Principality, is not just leading a project. He's challenging global assumptions. He's showing the world that even in the driest, most hostile corners of Earth, we can grow food, we can grow hope. From air to water, Bir Tawil literally means deep well, yet the land holds no water. That paradox is now being reversed. Atmospheric water generators, powered entirely by solar energy, turn dry air into fresh, clean water. The system delivers precise amounts of water to the crops, reduces evaporation, and stores extra supply for emergencies. It even helps regulate humidity inside the greenhouse, improving plant health and climate control. Every drop is maximized. Every grain of sand is accounted for. The message of Bir Tawil. This is more than survival. It's transformation. It's proof that with vision, innovation, and courage, we can regenerate even the most lifeless lands. Bir Tawil is no longer a forgotten stretch of desert. It's becoming a global symbol of what's possible when we work in harmony with the planet. This is not just about growing food. It's about growing futures.